Hey guys, Daisho back with some more Hearthstone playing this stipulation stipulation arena and this one was really bad. It was that I had to only draft cards that or I basically had to fill out my curve as much as possible. So if basically I just had to draft whatever I had the least of. Anyway, made a key error in the first game but managed to come back and win the next two. And uh, I mean in those games the deck really didn't look terrible. It didn't look great, but I think I might just keep this three drop so that I can do the whole uh, coin into three and then play another three. But it really didn't look great, but at the same time, it also didn't look like the worst deck ever. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about it. Depending on the draw, I might actually play the abusive here. Yeah, I definitely will. Um, because if he plays a three two, then I just get a ton of advantage out of out of trading down or up I guess Ugh. come on miss yes alright so that was pretty lucky I'm gonna say I'm sorry and honestly I'm just gonna play the 3-2 instead of coining it out this way I can save the mind control tech for later in the game if I ever do need it but um, yeah that was that was kind of awesome for me pretty much the ideal start to this kind of game so he's just gonna drop an armor smith in <laughs> wisp. In uh, constructed armor smith is kind of a boss. You can just use it and like in conjunction with a couple of them and whirlwinds, you can gain a ton of life, and it's really relevant against the aggro decks. But in the arena, you're really f more focused. That's weird. All right, well he got lucky there. <laughs> Ooh, that's bad for me. I need my blood sail corsair. <laughs> Um, in the arena, you're a lot more focused on uh, board control, so the life gain doesn't really matter that much. Come on, Blood Sail Corsair. Yeah! Showing up on time, doing his job. And may as well just drop some stuff. Do you see that, though? <laughs> also, um, Armor Smith looks a lot better here when I have a bunch of 1-1s that he can eat. But yeah, my opponent definitely screwed up with the uh, cleave. If he hadn't hit the 3-2, he would have been in much worse shape. He just should have killed the 1-1 one -one that was in the middle first, then played cleave, and then played the fiery war axe. Alright, I'm a little confused as to why he did that. Alright, I mean, that, that helps to make some sense out of it. Um, I think I'm just going to coin out a frost elemental here. And just shift the turn. <laughs> this way, um, he's likely to play a creature so I can mind control tech it. And I can also kill the 3-3 with my 5-5 five five instead of having to throw all my little guys at it. Which, the little guys are going to get better if I do get to play the Stormwind Champion. I seriously can't believe that I got something on the Blood Sail course. <laughs> he showed up at the right time. Alright, so he's probably just going to trade there, which is kind of annoying. Oh, no, he's got a Whirlwind. Oh, no. That is not good. And my opponent is still one creature short of me being able to do anything about it. But... Oh, God. The worst. Tundra Rhino. That's a good draw. Yarg. So many pirates. So there's an outside chance that my opponent goes for the face here. It would be pretty unlikely though. <laughs> okay. Face? No. <laughs> um, the reasoning is because he's at a really high life and he was showing that he wanted to be aggressive earlier as well. So there's a chance, but turned out not to be the case. Stormwind's probably just going to get hit down or like he's gonna use an inner fire or something like that but I don't really have much of a choice in this spot just gotta kinda kinda gotta go for it oh he's going for my face can't say I blame him for that how do I win this one ooh stone tusk board is a great draw and get rid of the divine shield for free it looks like this mind control tech um, is gonna be oh I could have just used it to... Mm, yeah, that was a little bit of a mess up. I don't think it's going to end up mattering. But yeah, if I just use that to kill 
that in conjunction with the timber wolf, then I could have just gone upstairs. No, he. I have to kill that still. All right. Um, I don't know why I'm holding this timber wolf in hand. All right. I screwed that up. Oh, uh, it's too bad that he's gonna kill my storm wind because I really like my guys to be bigger. I know it's pretty pretty crazy and uh, and shocking, but that is the case. Alright, so I'm just going to have to trade my other two bros. Yeah, I mean, there's no way. Whoa! Thank you. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. So, like, this way, I get to keep one of my guys. No, I mean both of my guys. What was that about? I actually have a chance of winning this one. All he had to do was trade um, with Stormwind, and I would stand zero chance. There's a, I mean, he could just have like Arcanite Reaper in hand. Well, that's a good draw. He is just rushing me down here, but um, yeah, th there's there is a chance here. I'm at six, which is not really in danger of dying in one turn. All right, so this is not lethal, right? He's at 32. It's probably not gonna be lethal for a little while. Well, actually, perhaps next turn, I have 12, no, not quite, 12, 14, 16, and he's going to be at 21. So I have to dodge a couple more bullets here. Ugh. I bet he's going upstairs here. Yep. All right. And brawl. Oh, God. Well, at least my sea giant survived. Pretty fortunate. Multi shot. The absolute worst card right now. Alright, so he's gonna be at 11, so he's one out of lethal, so I have to dodge two more cards or draw some extra damage, which I don't have much of. Well, good game. That was. That was a close one. Really came down to the wire. Um, would I have won if my Stormwind had had another health, or if I just ignored that? Probably not. Probably would have still... Probably would have still bit the dust, but now we are we go from, like, a decent positioning in 2-1, and one, like, okay, yeah, we just gotta win three more in a row, and then I have a good chance to go, like, 7-3, and three, to having to avoid maybe going 2-3 and three and not even, not even going even. Not even going even. I'm just going to try and say even ten more times in this sentence. And then, even then, you guys will even still be pissed at me. Because even though I am not an idiot, I am acting like one. Even though I shouldn't be. But still doing it. Even, 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 even. Alright. Let us destroy you. Oh, Priestess of Loon. That would have been a good draw. Draw indeed. All right. Well, I don't want any of these. And recording now. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a good hand though. I'm playing against a priest. I don't have any weapons in my deck. So ooh, that's either a huge mistake or a sign of a great play. But we'll see what it turns out to be. Uh, the reason I say that is because um, it's a pretty big mistake to play this on turn one if you don't have a shadow word pain or a power word shield to back it up um, especially I hope he just has a power word shield here and then I can abusive alright well can't quite abusive to get around this but uh, I'm still okay so next turn he's gonna be able to draw his one card off it and then I'm gonna be able to finish it off with abusive um, Overall, like, a reasonable situation? Okay, well, looks like maybe not. <laughs> oh, sweet. So, yeah, I'm going to be able to kill that thing this turn. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one I have alive. He's still one turn off of Holy Nova, but I think I may as well just steady shot instead of playing this guy out. I guess I'll just play him out next turn. I don't know. I mean, I get two free damage in and instead of one by having this guy out. Um, it's not particularly relevant for Shadow Madness to play around. Yeah, it looks like 
Looks like I'm just going to get Holy Nova next turn, so I don't think I'm going to play this out. Or anything that will die to Holy Nova. This won't die to Holy Nova, though, so I will be happy enough to drop it. Get some uh, tempo going. If he does clear, um, get a 2-for-1 here, then I'm actually still pretty happy because I have uh, I have a 4-power guy out. Well, that's actually just uh, very, very similar to if he did have Holy Nova, except we all, or he takes two damage instead of gaining two. So that was just basically like worst Holy Nova there. Yeah, and now the tempo is definitely on my side of the game. I have 11 power on board, he's at 16, and I've got two creatures, or, well, I guess I already said that, but, and he's got no creatures on board to contend with me. He could easily clear my board with a Shadower Death and a, and a, a Holy Smite, but... Or that. Whoa. Thanks. That was... That was terrible. Okay. Well, alright. So I've got a couple options here. I could just hit him upstairs for seven. Or I can just trade and then play a Boulder Fist Ogre. Yeah, that's probably better. Even though I could have, I could have halved his life total, but I'd rather just get my guys on board because then he would just be able to kill my guy the next turn. He'd still have the Akenai Soul Priest out as a three-one, and I wouldn't have anything to do. That's positive. I like I wouldn't have any creatures on board. Yeah, this is definitely the correct line of play. Uh, yeah, and I guess I may as well drop the Tundra Rhino. I mean, it doesn't provide me with that much advantage, but if I top deck a beast, then that would be kind of awesome. I also read the comments from the first video, and I accidentally took a Stone Tusk War over a Core Hound. And that's kind of interesting. I, I guess I should really look throughout the uh, the draft and like see which one would have been better and how much so. Multi shot's going to be pretty good here. Because I can just kill the cult master, nom on that, and then still play that guy. And hit him for six. So, yeah, good turn, good turn. Pretty simple, easy to see. Chips fell into the place for me. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Oh, no. That thing is gigantic. Alright, that's a, that's a respectable play. Nightblade. Sure. I'll Nightblade him. Oh, he's just dead. Cool. <laughs> Funny when those things work out like that. Alright, so we at least went 3-3. Three and three. Can, uh, can be happy about that. Unlocked only the Mighty because I have a billion 7 drops in this deck. No, not even. I mean, this deck just has a good curve, like, exactly how you would expect it to go. It's like a very, very simple curve. It should have, like, one less one drop and another seven drop. But, um, yeah, I'll do one more game. Do one more game, then we'll, uh, we'll call it a day. We shall call it a day. But yeah, um, so earlier in the game where I had, I played the Stone Tusk Boar, and I was able to just knock off the divine shield so if I had just been able to play a core hound that turn that might have been a lot better but I can't remember if I did anything else that turn I think I'd played like a timber wolf or something and uh, another two drop I don't know something useless there's a lot of useless things in this deck oh god playing against mage is just not good for my deck I, it performs it seems like it'll perform very poorly against mage uh, do I want to just keep a one mana one two I do not <laughs> That seems like a negative idea. Alright, so abusive, I mean, you just have to calibrate and realize that abusive is only going to be used for its battle cry effect. It's, uh, the fact that it's a 2-1 is largely irrelevant because it just gets pinged off by mage's hero ability. It could be relevant to play it at, like, turn 3 or turn 4 because those are the real development um, turns of the game and your opponent wants to be playing stuff they don't want to just be sitting around using their hero ability they want to be playing harvest golems and water elementals dear god if I have to come up against uh, 
if I have to come up against those cards, that would be very, very, very bad. All right, so <laughs> this is like exactly the situation that I was talking about, and I think I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna do it here because this card has very, very little um, upside for me here, and if he just pings my guy, then I get to have the first creature on board. Of course, he could ping my guy and like play a mana worm. I don't know. Yeah, so I mean. It's obviously a bad use of the card, but it's not a non-use. Like, it still is a valid play. It seems really, really bad, and I'm sure from his point of view, it was like, why would he ever do this? But I think it was alright. It was an alright play. Dear God, that thing is gigantic. Oh, good draw. <laughs> and in conjunction with the boar, I can just take it out. And now I'm up a lot on tempo, and if I can resolve this Stormwind without him having like a Polymorph or a Fireball, that will be awesome. Alright, so Frostbolt is going to take care of the Spell Breaker. Mm -hmm. Alright, so he's about to hit 6. I don't think he's used the coin yet. Well, this could be bad. I guess not really. I mean, worst ca worst case scenario, he just trades board and flame strikes, and that's not even that bad for me. <laughs> so I, I suspect what's going to happen is he's going to hit here and then fire blast. We must cleanse the okay, or that. Uh, I was going to say, and he's also going to play something. And I think I'm just going for face at this point. With the Tundra Rhino, the Explosive Trap, my hero ability seems to make more sense. Well, that could be really, really bad. Do I just, like, assume that it's a mirror entity? Probably I do. Yeah. It's not a mirror entity. Well, it's probably a vaporize, then. I don't really need to kill that. Well, it's good for me to kill it. Because it's a more favorable trade than with that guy. Okay, so I just have no idea what this is. <laughs> um, I expect a flame strike here, I guess. Card all the way from the left that he's had the entire game, and he's like, yeah, 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 I got the flame strike, and I'm like, yeah, 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 all right, you got it. Blizzard, okay. Not necessarily one that I was expecting. But uh, it's still pretty decent for him. Yeah, I think I'd rather just, well, let's see. Now, I'll play this thing and shoot. Reasoning being, I can still play the Frost Elemental next turn so that I can hope to get a turn with the Venture Co. Um, you can't kill this. This is looking like a solid game for me. This is like a Cone of Cold. Polymorph. Polymorph might not get the job done here. Uh, wow, that's actually a sick combo. Okay, so if I play Stormwind, then I have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 damage. I think it's still the play. And um, at this point, I don't really need to play too conservatively. Or I can afford to play more conservatively. Earlier, I thought that the only way I could possibly win is if I rushed him down. But now, I mean, I have pretty good board control. And I have cards in hand still that affect the game in a meaningful way. Arcane Intellect. That is a, uh, they may as well call that card Desperation Intellect at this point. <laughs> Alright, so I mean this, this secret could still be Ice Block, or it could be either of the two spell-oriented ones. Spellbender, the one that targets, tr uh, targets to a 1-3, or Counterspell. So, I do have to worry about that. Alright, sheep down. Wolf Rider. So, my play this turn. Um, I want to crack this for sure. But I think I do want to do two damage first. Okay, so it's a nice block. I figured that's what it was. Um, 
No, I want to play this. And this guy. Alright, so, I mean, like, worst case scenario, I can still Explosive Trap and Steady Shot, so I, I really don't think I can lose this one unless my opponent gains a significant amount of life, and he only has access to neutral cards that do that, so there's a good chance he's not even playing any of them. And I'm still at, a tw at 25, so even if he's got two Fireballs, I'm in, I'm in very good shape, yeah. <laughs> I thought so. Alright, cool, so got a couple of wins out of that, and we went 2-1 and one and then 2-1, and one, so hopefully we can go 2-1 and one in the next three. But they have to be in the correct order. <laughs> and going 6-3 and three with this deck would be kind of sweet. I mean, overall, it's not a terrible deck. It, it's got a mana curve, obviously. And it's got some powerful cards. I had to pass up on some others. And I chose to pass up on some others. But hey, Blood Cell Corsair, no, I actually lost that Warrior game. Hmm. I was going to say it won me that Warrior game. Because him just popping up at that exact right time was perfect. But... I lost that game. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Bye.